Okay. Today we're gonna make a feature based type of track. If you have a basic music theory, it will be easy because the chord progression is use seven chord, the seven note from the root note like this. B minor seven, G major, B minor seven. D major just use a lot of 7 chord 9 you can find an in Google just Google it 7 chord on the piano and there is a lot of result you can use to your own chord progression and the sound is like this It's very beautiful chord you can use for your future bass track a lot of track use 7 and 9 chord use a lot of inversion so simple and the second you have a drums make a drums that not too complex but interesting like this Hmm, the simple drums, kick, snare, hi-hat loops, and crash. I think the hi-hat is from Cymatic. The kick, snare is from Cymatic too, but the tom feel is from Contact. It's a drumica. It's a free and good for drums. In the drums, just give it a reverb to make sound more alive. I have reverb on the snare, hi-hat and crash, but the crash it's a need more reverb so he can emulate the real sounding drums. If you have drums, and don't forget to have a sidechain trigger in every kick snare. Every kick hit, there is a trigger for sidechain. It's very useful for this type of track. And the next is you should design the sound for your crowd progression. I have it here, it's a copy of the chord from the piano, just copy it here, and I'm gonna mute this, okay, the sound is It's really generic sound for the future bass type of track. If you didn't have the EDM Soundlight free pack, you can download it. But it will be soon to upload. And if you want to make the presets, just in it. You can use anything of this kind of sound you can use anything with you can use saw square and whatever just use the elevo for the shape of sound bring it down and use elevo yep let's say letter b one octave higher and use 
Yeah, I think egg unison will work. Just listen. Shape this level to yeah, something like this. It's very generic sound for future bass type of track. It sound like this. Oh, I forgot. It's eight note. Okay. <laughs> and you can turn the effects. Just give hyper dimension, lower down the hyper size of dimension, and mix. Yeah, it's personal preferences. And like this, it sound bigger. And you should have an EQ. Yes, pull the high shelf. I think six dB will work. Okay, and then if you noise person, yeah, just. Turn on the noise oscillator and have a bright white. Now nah, use the LFO two to give sound more bright. It will be sound like this. It sounds really nice, and you have the reverb. Yes, yeah. Have a plate reverb with a pre-delay, low cut, with for wider sound, and the sound is. It's really generic future bass sound. And the important thing is I use AOA. You can use a sound bass and general sound bass. But AOA will work. The sidechain for the AOA is on. If you didn't have a sidechain, it sound like this. Uh, the sound is from Serum. I have the link for download these presets on the previous videos of making Yellow Claw. I think you can download for free and then the important thing is the ARP it will make your song sound fuller it's, it's just a copy of chord MIDI note I just have a uh, ARP plugins from Logic Pro it's 16 note and move up and you have the sound like this okay I like to have a sidechain on my egg or egg because it's a lot of low end and my kick is have a lot low end too <clears throat> so I have sidechain it and it sounds really nice
Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to hear the final sound, it's like this. It's really simple to make the future bass. You have a good chord, copy it, and turn on the ARP plugins. You can use arpeggiator for the arpeggios. And then you have the sub bass or echo egg or something. Just put it and then make the simple but interesting drum loops. Yeah. That's all for today, see you and bye.